key concept, properties of graphs of direct variation equations. The graph of a direct variation equation is a line through the origin, like so. Here, a is greater than zero. In other words, they're saying the slope is positive. Here, a is less than zero, and they're saying the slope is negative. The slope of the graph of y is equal to a times x is a. So this position right here is the slope. Don't forget this is called a slope and the constant of variation. Example 4. Solve a multi-step problem. Saltwater Aquarium. The number s of tablespoons of sea salt needed in a saltwater fish tank varies directly with the number w of gallons of water in the tank. A pet shop owner recommends adding 100 tablespoons of sea salt to a 20 gallon tank. Write a direct variation equation that relates W and S. How many tablespoons of sea salt should be added to a 30 gallon saltwater fish tank? Solution Step 1 Write a direct variation equation. Because S varies directly with W, you can use the equation S is equal to A times W. Also, use the fact that S is equal to 100 when W is equal to 20. Write direct variation equation. S is equal to A times W. Substitute. S is 100. W is 20. Solve for A. After solving for a, you end up with a is equal to 5. Don't forget when solving for a, that says a times 20. Opposite of multiplication is division, so you divide both sides by 20. 20 divided by 20 is 1, so you're left with just 1a. 1 100 divided by 20 is 5. A direct variation equation that relates w and s is s is equal to 5 times w. Step 2. Find the number of tablespoons of salt that should be added to a 30 gallon saltwater fish tank. Use your direct variation equation from step 1. Write direct variation equation from step 1. S is equal to 5 times W. Substitute 30 for W. So in place of W, you put 30. So now you have S is equal to 5 times 30. So what's 5 times 30? 150. You should add 150 tablespoons of salt to a 30 gallon fish tank. Ra ratios. The direct variation equation, y is equal to a times x, can be rewritten as y divided by x is equal to a, where x cannot be zero. So, in a direct variation, the ratio of y to x is constant for all non-zero data pairs. X, X and Y. Okay, now what they're saying there is a very important concept when they say that A is equal to Y over X. All they're saying is this. If you take the direct variation equation, Y is equal to A times X, and you solved it for A, so to solve it for A, you would get rid of the X. It says A times X, so you divide both sides by X. X here and X there. X divided by X is 1, so you're left with A. And then you end up with Y over X. Well, what is y over x? y divided by x. All right, here's another way to write it. a is equal to y over x. We put an a first there. So a is equal to y over x. Now, what is y over x? That's really what? Rise over the run. Rise over the run, you know that as your slope. And then what is your slope? Your slope is the change in the y's, change in the run, divided by the change in the, excuse me, change in the y's, and the change in the x's and that's m your slope so going the other way slope is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 that's a fancy way of saying rise over run that's another way of saying y over x and that's another way of saying your constant of variation so constant of variation is the same as slope Example 5. Use a direct variation model. Online music. The table shows the cost C of downloading S songs at 
an internet music site? A. Explain why C varies directly with S. B. Write a direct variation equation that relates S and C. Solution A. To explain why C varies directly with S, compare the ratio C to S. That's like saying Y over X. Y over X. For all data pairs. S and C. So, you get 2.97 divided by 3. That's equal to 4.95 divided by 5. That's equal to 6.93 divided by 7. And that's equal to 99. So, in other words, each one of these ratios is equal to 99. Because all the ratios equal 99, C varies directly with S. B. A direct variation equation then is C is equal to 0 0.99 times S. Now for those of us who may be a little bit confused as to what's going on, see how they got 2.97 divided by 3, 4.95 divided by 5, and 6.93 divided by 7. Alright, so the C is like your Y. That is your uh, dependent variable. In other words, you can't figure out the cost or how much you're going to pay until you know how many songs you're going to buy. So this right here is the dependent value and this right here is the independent variable. Dependent variable, independent variable. So y over x, that's like saying your rise over your run, that's a slope. And we also learned that y over x is also like saying your constant of variation. So if you replace y with the c, replace x with the s, I mean replace x with the s, you're looking at c over s. And that's what they figured out right here. And since they're all the same, you know that it's constant. You know that that's going to be your constant of variation. And that's what tells you that's going to be a direct variation equation. Okay, and that concludes today's lesson.